Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworx and you are checking out a serum tutorial on ADSR sounds. So in this video, we're going to be doing more of a cinematic, kind of an ambient style sound. So it's a little bit different from the typical EDM or hip hop influenced tutorials that I do. But I wanted to do this tutorial because I've probably gotten a good five, six or seven requests coming through uh, on emails or comments asking about how to do ambient sound design in a synth like Serum or even Massive. So if you guys have Serum, um, it's a great, great synth to do ambient sounds like drones or pads. Now we're going to look at a drone sound, but this could easily be a pad and we're, it's going to be kind of a two part tutorial. It's all going to be one video, but we're going to we're going to have to make a sample first and then we're going to make the sound in Serum. So let me play this little demo here real quick. The blue track is what's coming from Serum and the red is just a bass, little, little, very simple bass progression. Right, so we have a long evolving drone. Now if you don't know what a drone is, a drone is a sound design tool that you'll typically hear in like cinematic film score style music. If you go watch pretty much any movie trailer, you're gonna hear a drone at some point. But it's used to kind of create tension. It, it, you can use it in dubstep, you could use it in melodic dubstep, you could use it in a lot of genres of EDM as well. Um, you could use it also in trance too to really get some ethereal soundscapes going. So what it is, it's, it's I'm basically just posting up on the uh, tonic of the key that I was playing in, and then you just hold it out. There is a little bit of pitch bend occurring inside of Serum. It's another reason why I like using Serum to create these ambient sounds more and more. Um, because I have such flexibility with the LFOs that I can modulate pretty much any parameter, and I don't get that in a synth like Massive, for instance. So even though Serum's definitely kind of thought of as, I think a lot of people think of it as like an EDM style synth, it's great for these ambient sounds. Now if I change the attack settings in here, and we'll talk about this later, this would be a pad, a playable pad. Right now the attack setting is 19 seconds long, um, so it's, it's, it's quite intense with how long it takes the sound to, to evolve, but that's because I used it as a drone. If I turn that attack down, I could play it as a pad. So let's look at how we can create this type of sound. Now what I did was, and I've done a tutorial on this before, so if this idea is absolutely brand new to you in Serum, check it out. You can use the noise oscillator in Serum as a very basic sample, or sampler, or sample playback player. I said that very confusingly, so let me, let me backtrack. You can use the noise oscillator in Serum as a basic sampler. Uh, you, you can use it to basically load in a piano sample, a guitar sample, something that's pitch oriented, and then you can actually, it's quite playable. It, it has a good algorithm for time stretching. So that's what I did with this sound. It's actually, you can see here, it's just one oscillator and then the noise oscillator. So here's the noise oscillator. And then here's the oscillator. And then blended, I blended those together to get the sound that we just played. So to do that, all I did was I, I sampled a stock sound inside of Logic. And I did a piano. You could do really any sound that you, you want. You could do a string, you could do electric guitar, a kazoo, even really anything, sky's the limit. The more kind of creative you get, the better. So when you do this, you wanna be conscious of how you're gonna play or what you're playing, what register you're gonna ultimately play. So a drone, usually they're played a little bit higher pitch, so I'm not gonna sample way down here. I have a basic piano loaded up. And I'm not gonna sample C2 if I'm gonna be playing up here. I'm just going to sample up near, you know, the C3, C4 range. So I'm just going to draw in a C4 note here, and we will draw it in quite far. Okay, I don't want full velocity on this because I don't want there to be, if I'm using it as a drone, I don't want there to be a huge kind of explosive pop like that. So I'm going to keep it in the green. All right, I'm going to crank this way up because... Otherwise, you have to do some gain staging outside of Serum once it gets there. So now we have this. So we want a really long sample. This is not a really long sample right now. So you can use a reverb plugin. Uh, Valhalla Shimmer is great. Valhalla Room, uh, tons of reverb plugins. Just you want to do a reverb that has a, a, you can set up a nice long kind of like a chamber or ambience. So I'm going to choose say ambience mode inside of Valhalla Vintage Verb. And we're going to change the color. Actually, let's just go to, we'll go huge spaces <laughs> montage. Let's try this. So let's try finding uh, Sanctuary. 
vocal air. All right, so I have the decay at about, I don't need it that long. Let's just do about 30. Turn the mix down to maybe 70. All right, so then we're going to bounce this as, as audio. All right, so that'll be a nice long sample. So I'm going to bounce that to audio real quick. I need to extend the MIDI region. If you are a Logic user, make sure you do that. All right, so now we have this. Right now, you could take this a step further and do some more effects, do some more reverb, throw on some delays, get you know get some crazy things going. I'm just gonna do one layer or one step of the actual kind of resynthesis of the sound with the reverb. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bounce this out. So now we need to get that into Serum. So what we can do is let me track. We'll do a duplicate track here. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to load up Serum. I'm going to turn off the oscillator. We're going to go to the, uh, we'll, do, we'll do a brand new sound. We'll go initialize preset. And we're going to go to menu first. And we go show Serum presets folder. And we need to get the noise sample that we just made into my user folder. So we're going to do that now. So we're going to come to here, pop this into there. And now we have it in Serum. So you're gonna have to close and reopen Serum in your DAW to get that to show up. So now if I go to my noises, I go to user, I go to ambient, now I have, there it is, drone two, piano, C4. So let's turn off oscillator A2, turn this way down. All right, so now we have the sound in there. I want to, I want to turn both of these options on. Turn the pitch up to positive 12, so it's higher pitch. Turn the level up. All right, so there's the sound. Gonna change the phase, the random a little. All right, so let's take this attack way out like I did in the first sound. Right, so there's the sound. Let's turn the release up as well. So then we, when we let up on the key, there's some nice release. So instead of remaking the sound entirely from scratch, because it's quite easy, what I'm going to do just to speed this tutorial along, I'm going to show you. We're going to pull in the new sample that we just made into the first sound that we heard. So drone to piano. I'm going to keep all this on. So right now we have this. Now I have a filter going on and some effects, which is why it might sound different. So let me turn those off. Right, so that's just coming straight from the, the noise oscillator. So, so I have the attack on envelope one set at about 19 seconds, so it's quite long. Um, I have the hold, you know, doesn't really matter because you have the attack that long. Uh, it, the, the hold's going to be how long it holds the top decay, but at a time of 19 seconds, you shouldn't even really get that high up into the hold range, but you could turn that on longer if you needed to. All right, so I have just a, I had a basic low pass filter filtering out some of the sounds, but that's filtering out the sound from the oscillator, not the actual noise oscillator. You can see I don't have that turned on. You could if you wanted to. You know, and then maybe you could modulate the cutoff of that, of that filter with that envelope. So then the filter opens up a little bit with that long attack time. So there's a lot of things that you can do with Serum to create these types of drones. Now what I did was I layered it with a with a wavetable. 
it's this wavetable, very basic. I have some detune, you know, some unison. This is all what you can do to taste. The main step is getting a cool uh, actual sample in there to make it have that more of an ambient sound designy type sound. So all I did with this was I loaded up a wavetable that I liked, added seven voices of detune, you know, made it a little bit wide. So there's the sound without the filter on. You know, and if I turn the the attack down, we have we have a really you know typical sound. That's a pretty normal wavetable, right? Sounds more like serum. Um, so let's turn the attack back up, turn the release back up, turn the filter back on. So that's all that I'm doing. Nothing too crazy, right? Let's get the noise back in there. All right, so the noise is not routed into the filter. Let me turn on the effects. You could do any effect that you wanted. I did distortion, delay, reverb, and EQ. Nothing special. Now, the cool thing with this, with drones and ambient type sounds, there's usually some sort of uh, element that makes them evolve over time. So what I did was I created this shape, set it to eight bars that just slightly ramps up. And then I went to my matrix and I'm having that modulate the, uh, the pitch, the master tune. You can see LFO1 is modulating the master tune just a little bit. So what that does is it creates this little bend up in pitch. Right? And if you have a long enough of a sample like we did, then it kind of does it in the middle of the sound. So let's listen to this again with that bass. there is that type of sound. Now the main thing that you want to be aware of is that you just need a long, long attack time in envelope one. You then need to make sure that, I would say you don't want to filter out too much of the sound you sampled. Uh, you, might, you might do that if you use more of an interesting style of filter, but if you're using like a low pass or a high pass, depending on the sound that you sample in, you, you typically would want that to be intact because of the reverb that you put on it or the effects that you put on it. And then maybe blend that with an oscillator or two to get more of a thick, lush sound, but it's really quite easy. And if I turn the attack on this down, let's do this now. We turn this down, we'll turn the decay down, the release, the hold down. All right, so now we have this really cool pad, so I can play it as a pad. Right, let me get the hold a little bit longer here. So yeah, there's a there's a bunch of cool things that you can do with with serum and loading in those kind of custom samples and creating some really cool pad sounds. All right, guys, that is the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Echo Soundworks. I'll see you next time.